Okay, there's my uh, kitchen countertop steam engine with a boiler. And um, it's not real strong. It breaks real quick. And this boiler was uh, as about as simple as I could get it. And the steam engine guys are going to hate this. But uh, that's my pressure relief valve, that cork right there. And then the vinyl tubing just blows off if this gets too much pressure in it. Or the whole top of the motor blows off. So there's not a lot of danger in this particular thing, but I did want to see if I could make a, uh, a, a kitchen countertop type of steam engine with rudimentary parts. And there it is. And uh, this isn't going to last a long time. I might make another one that's uh, probably all soldered up. You notice I did use solder on this part here. The epoxy, uh, like I say, if it gets too hot, it just blows the top of the motor right off. And then I think what I'm going to do is make a little uh, bracket uh, type of situation here. Run this on a candle on sterno. And you notice I don't have a sight glass. And I kept this as simple as uh, possible. I just filled a... It's a um, tomato soup can. And you just take the holes here and you drain out the soup and you leave both ends intact. And that's what you do here.